Alright. It's Power Subject 2, and it is time to get into my live reaction to Chapter 319 of My Hero Academia after a, a week off from the series. Uh, and from, you know, what I've gleaned from, you know, kind of looking at my YouTube notifications, it seems like this chapter would be kind of important, kind of a big chapter, so let's just, uh, get right into it. Uh, where we left off, uh, Deku was taking on the creepy, hunched back, uh, villain dictator, uh, who's controlling people with his quirk despot, but, uh, even though Deku was not in good shape, the fight was cut short by a sudden, uh, bomb being dropped by, uh, none other than Kachan. And so, yeah, let's see uh, how many students of UA have come to back Deku up. Oh, wow. Uh, well, I see uh, Ida Naraka, first of all, in a, in a really beautiful uh, color page here. Uh, we see uh, the, the, you, the apartments where the kids live, the, where Class 1A lives, uh, a few days after Zuko Midori left UA. So this is a flashback. Um... So yeah, we see, I see Ida and Uraka looking very serious. Uraka says, do you really think so? And uh, uh, Todoroki says, uh, uh, it's just uh, our our best guess, but, you know, Tokiyami standing behind Todoroki. Uh, and Baku, Bakugo says, uh, odds are he's with Endeavor and the others. That damn nerd. So we just, <laughs> he's got like a, like a house meeting here of all of all the class one A kids just sitting in there in the living room or whatever, uh, like in a in a circle kind of, or not like a half circle. Uh, this is Bakugo's Bakugo's tearing up the letter that Izuku left them, um, saying that he was gonna leave. Uh, Ida goes, uh, "Your best guess. You haven't confirmed that with anyone, such as uh, the mentors who oversaw you three. Uh, Tokoyami says, uh, uh, we have tried unceasingly, but my own master will not answer his phone. You see him thinking about Hawks. Uh, Bakugo goes, uh, same with Denim Head, you see, best genus. You know, Todoroki says, my father too, and you see Endeavor. Um, uh, I'm sure they're busy, but something feels off. We can only assume, uh, they're keeping secrets from us. Jiro says, uh, uh, not to mention, All Might is still MIA. That, uh, uh, Ojiro says, uh, or so it seems, yeah. Uh, classes are, uh, suspended and, uh, we've been kept as first years for now. It got those of us in the hero course either cooped up in the dorms or helping out with, uh, local security. Given the state of things, uh, it's tough to find out about, uh, what's going on out there. It's uh, looking like a very talk-heavy chapter here in this, uh, we're still in this flashback. Uh, Bakugo says, uh, Denim Head and the Spoonbill met Deku back at the hospital. All Might was there too. Uh, and then we got this letter. He's holding up one of the pieces of the letter that he just tore up. Uh, if he's too scared to come near UA, uh, then who snuck in and Slipped the letters under the uh, doors in the dead of night. It had to be all night. I've got no doubt uh, they're partners in crime. And then um, Ayama says, uh, uh, Then he, uh, he is with an adult? Uh, that should give us reassurance. We? You see like this little star next to it. And, uh, um, and Kaminari says, uh, The only news... Uh, we're hearing is about the whole uh, top three uh, team up, right? Not a word about All Might. Bakugo says, uh, yeah. Uh, compared to Endeavor and the others, uh, I know Deku and All Might better than anyone. He's like, just like balling up his fist. Uh, this is the worst scenario I could think of. We get uh, uh, Kirishima with his hair down for once. <laughs> like, no hair gel in there. Looking all spiky. Uh, he goes, damn it! How are we going to get in touch with them? Yeah, where Rocket just has a serious look. Uh, she goes, uh, Endeavor's a uh, UA alum, right? 
then let's force the issue. We cut to the principal uh, a few days later, uh, and Deborah's like, principal, uh, this was a trap. We just see all the kids, all the UA kids in their, their school uniforms, or all the class 1A kids, I should say. Well, that, I guess they're class 2A now. Uh, well, I don't know. It might still be 1A. Um, yeah, they're all in the principal's office with Endeavor and the principal. Uh, the principal says, uh, I heard uh, the children out and determined that this meeting was warranted. I'm always open to change based on the facts. And, uh, Todoroki says, uh, Why have you been ignoring me? I thought we were going to stop Toya together. And Deborah goes, Shoto. Your willingness alone means the world to me. And, and Todoroki interrupts. Well, it doesn't mean much to me without action. Why is Midoriya the only one with the free pass? Endeavor. You're letting Deku and All Might operate together, aren't you? Endeavor doesn't say anything. And Bakugo, Bakugo says, thought so. In any other situation, it was the right move. But you don't know the first thing about Deku. He screwed up in the head. Uh, the guy never takes himself into account, which is very true about our boy here. He's very self-sacrificing to a, to a fault. Uh, just says crap like, I'm fine. All Might became the symbol of peace uh, with the same mindset. Uh, so he won't be able to, uh, so he won't be the one to stop Deku. Listen, Endeavor, you can't leave those two alone with each other. Not them. That's a interesting point I didn't really consider. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Bakugo is the loud, abrasive bully type, but he is, you can never say he's not smart and not observant. Uh, uh, seems like Midoriya finally cut himself off uh, from All Might too. That, that was Hawks and uh, Best Genius were kind of cutting over to them. I like guess it's just like a, a memory that Endeavor had of the conversa a conversation they had in the past. Endeavor's like closing his eyes. He's still remembering the conversation. Uh, if only we could have the same speed to be by his side. So Endeavor has like, he's looking at his phone. But then uh, <laughs> Sarah has kind of this weird look on his face. He's like, yo, uh, does that thing have GPS tracking? <laughs> suddenly all the kids are scrambling for Endeavor's phone. <laughs> He's like, I jump right up. Ah! Endeavor's just like, just thinking to himself. And Sarah's like, mind if we borrow this, sir? Because, well, it's only by uh, chance I wound up in the same class as, this, as the guy, but still. Uh, uh, Coda says, I feel the same way. We've only spent a year together. But that's plenty. He's, he's like picking up Mineta. Uh, and Todoroki says, He never opened up uh, to us about one for all. And he expected that uh, letter to put us at ease. Uh, that came as a shock to us. And then Ida says, We, Class A, intend to find him. Follow him and work alongside him. No matter how great... A burden, a one for all, may, uh, uh, you know, yeah, one for all may be. Midoriya is our friend, and just see all the kids standing together. And we can't uh, very well be expected to go smiling into the future, knowing that our friend uh, is walking uh, this thorny path alone. And Deborah goes, it's too dangerous out there. Law and order is a thing of the past. Even you kids would be. And the principal interrupts him. Uh, you've certainly matured, Todoroki. Given that the villains now pursue him, uh, and that he wished to leave UA, I authorize the team up. However, he's free to return to us at any time. The kid's like, like surprised, and Jiro goes, huh? From the moment a student is accepted into the school, they fall under our protection. We just see 
Uraka's having a little flashback to when she was accepted in the UA. She's like crying with her mom. That's pretty cute. Uh, Deborah goes, uh, but what about the safety of the evacuees? Among them, there's still a proper evacuation shelter. Uh, oh, sorry, I think this is probably the principal talking. We get like an exterior shot of the UA, so you can't really tell, but I think it's the principal. A uh, proper evacuation shelter must be uh, more than simply a plot of a plot of land. I shall have to reassure them somehow. Our security system was for, fortified for the school festival, though it has uh, yet to uh, see any use. I'm talking about the UA barrier. It will prove its worth. Huh, okay, I wonder what that's all about. Uh, in any case, All Might also attended the school, you know. So go on. Uh, do what you must to bring them back to us. Then we cut to the present, and uh, lo and behold, uh, we've got all of Izuku's classmates here to help him take on uh, all these people that Despot is controlling. Though I figured the fight's got to be over. Despot got taken, taken out by Bakugo real quick. But yeah, here they all are in their like Avengers Assemble moment. We see Todoroki's big ice formations in the background. You just see all the kids ready to fight. All the all these like innocent people are looking up from uh, these people who are attacking Deku are looking at them. We've got Momo looking curvaceous as ever. Sorry, she's a teenager. Um, uh, prison escape be secured. Splendid work, Bakugo. So yeah, she's got she got a uh, dictator under control. Uh, Baku, Bakugo says, "That's great explosion murder, God dynamite to you." And she goes, "Pardon me." Uh, and the the people are like, "Our bodies are free." Eek! Ah, heroes, and they're just like scattering. Deku just like doesn't even want to look at his classmates. He's just like, ah. "Everyone." But why? Uraka with her hair all wet goes, uh, We're worried about you. And of course, Deku says, But I'm fine. As he's kind of starting to get up. Now he puts his mask back on. So don't worry. And get away from me. <laughs> and Baku goes just like, <laughs> Wow, real inspiring. Uh, all hail the mighty inheritor of one for all. Uh, uh, and of course, Bakugo's hair is not affected by the rain. and he, It's just spiky as ever. But he goes, uh, But tell us this. Are you smiling now? <laughs> it's just, Deku's definitely not smiling. You just see that emo, ragged mask of his. As he's just like looking down. Those smiles... Everyone's peace of mind. Those are the reasons I need to keep going. So, get out of my way. I'm charging up more for all. And then Bakugo says, Do your worst, you all might want to be. And uh, Ida uh, says, We knew Midoriya would be the same as ever. Stand strong, everyone. And Uraka goes, yeah. So were they about to fight? I thought Deku was just gonna like, like launch out of here, but I mean, he probably will. But they'll probably they'll they'll definitely chase him. Ida, these three right here, um, Ida, Bakugo, and Uraka could definitely keep up with him. Like they could all fly or move fast in various ways. And uh, so yeah, even if he tries to run, he's they they're definitely gonna give chase. And so, uh, I wonder where this is going. I, I can't imagine Deku, like, get, seriously fighting against his classmates just to, like, keep them safe, basically. But, uh, that would be a hell of a fight if they do. If Deku versus the rest of his class, like, that would be insane. But, uh, but yeah, that's the chapter. Very dialogue-heavy chapter. Not really any action at all. But, they uh, there is potential for a lot of action in the next chapter. So, but uh, yeah, so that's uh, pretty much it for my live reaction to three nineteen. And uh, so, 
please like the video, comment, and subscribe to the channel, Price on Jitsu. Have a good one.